All right, we're going to do another um, acrylic pour with this peacock color scheme that I'm really digging. I've got ultramarine blue, tinted phthalo green, tinted phthalo blue, burnt sienna, an orange mixture, and also we're going to be working with some white. I've coated my canvas with white, and I'm going to get myself a little more white in here. I'm going to pop some air bubbles. That white, I just had to mix some more white and it is struggling with the air bubbles. They're not quite to the surface yet, so they're not going to pop just yet. Um, all right, so I really liked the last, the last peacock pour that I did, peacock color scheme. Um, so I'm going to go with the same order that I did for that, which was a little bit of white in my cup. And then we did the phthalo green, then we did the phthalo blue, then we did the ultramarine blue. I am pouring too quickly and I'm probably making a mess. Um, then, according to my notes, Green, blue, blue, then the brown. Then, I'm not using all this orange. Still use a lot of orange, and then some more white. Okay. Should we do a flip cup this time? I'm going to let it settle for a second. I am so not good at that. All right. I like that fiery orange that's happening with it mixing with the brown. I'm going to go to that corner, but I sort of want it to settle on the edge here before I do it. Maybe I'm kidding myself. I should just go to the corner. <gasps> Why am I so bad at flip cops? Just do it. Okay. Now. So it's pretty blue over here. There it goes. Bye bye, blue. Okay.
okay, well, I don't know. I'm not sure what I think about this one. I feel like it needs to go that way. I'm not digging that teal over there so much. I mean, I like white space, but I don't need all that white space. Go ahead, go ahead. Now I'm just trying to maybe make the orange section a little smaller because though it is an attractive orange, I want the I want it to be an accent to the blue, not the other way around. feels better. Yay! I like it. Let me wash my hands and we will pop some air bubbles and move it over. Come back and visit it in a little while. This one has a little too much orange for me, but um, I think that the brown will darken it up and make it a little more subtle as it dries. Uh, I like I like this. I don't usually like it when green happens in my compositions through the mixture of blue and yellows, but I don't mind that gives it a little bit of sophistication to the color scheme, makes it feel a little more organic. Yeah, so we'll see how it dries. Let me know what you think in the comments. Like and subscribe. Click the bell icon in order to get more notifications. And don't forget to check out my paintings and my merch like this shirt on seaholesheart.com. Bye.